Hey everybody, it's Danielle from Inspire Me to DIY. It's a home blog for home decorating, crafts, ideas, anything you want to um, make for your home. And speaking of that, today I am going to be making a um, Memorial Day project. Memorial Day is fast and furious coming this way. So I kind of want to be ready for it and have my home decorated because right behind it is 4th of July. So you can keep those decorations up. It's kind of like a summer thing if you think about it. But before I get started, I, I need to show you, if you've been looking at my Facebook page, you have seen these adorable patriotic crafts. Now my friend Helen makes these and unfortunately she doesn't have a website. I keep telling her she needs a website. But she sells these things in Georgia. Look at that. Just little fabric strips on the back of a big, bigger piece of fabric and a skewer. Is that not cute? And then this one, this one I just absolutely love. This is metal and it's made from a disposable roasting pan from the Dollar Tree. She has a punch that she cuts it out and then glues little fabric together also on a skewer. So cute. But the piece that I absolutely fell in love with, come on, look at that lace and ribbons and then this little crocheted thing she found believe it or not she goes to goodwill all the time and gets fabrics from from clothing and buttons from clothing and anything else you can think of she finds a cute top or dress that's made out of like this red gingham and then she cuts it up and makes things out of it brilliant look at the little pearls do you love it so this is my friend Helen. I would love to take credit for it, but I can't. But my project today is also from Helen. She came up with it. And even though you see projects on Pinterest and wherever you see projects and you make it yourself, it still is your project because you can tweak it any way, shape or form you want to and make it your own. And that's kind of what I did today. But first I gotta tell you, I made this this is not cute. I made this out of paint stir, bleh, paint stir sticks. I know. I thought I was going to have to go to Home uh, Depot and Lowe's just secretly and say, hey, can I have one? Can I have one? And do that like 30 times until I get enough. But they got smart. For 10, it's only 98 cents. Really? So I, of course, bought a whole bunch. So that's what we're going to make our project out of today. Now, if you want it longer, I don't know if they sell those or not, but the ones like when you buy paint in a five-gallon bucket and you get the really long ones, I'm not sure they sell those. You might be better off getting a half by half by one, which is in the, the molding department where you buy um, like crown molding and baseboard. They have all these specialty moldings. That is, that, that is, that are something this thin. And you can cut that up and make it as long as you want. This is my project today. My mama has a button box. And in her button box, I guess back in the day, they took, when, when clothes were worn out or didn't fit anymore, they, they took all the buttons off and put them in a button box. And I remember her button box especially because um, she, when we would play cards, and sometimes we played poker. Just me and my mama, yeah, it was a crazy game. But we um, played for buttons. So the one that had the most buttons at the end won. So it was kind of fun. And I remember getting to rifle through her button box and find pretty things. So unfortunately she passed away, but I got the button box. And in there I found these gold stars. Now they were shank buttons the kind with the little loop in the back that you can sew it onto. And I needed to cut that off to make them flat. And I just had it here. What, oh, here it is. What I used was like a little um, needle nose, but it's got a wire cutter right there. So I just cut the shanks off the buttons and then was able to glue them on. Now my blue field is a pair of old blue jeans. I really wished I could have found some of the um, the lighter blue, like, what do they call that? Acid wash or some kind of bleach jean. But this this dark blue is kind of pretty also. So what we're, I'm getting stuck to things. 
So this project took one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, actually 11 uh, paint sticks because two are on the back and that's what you hot glue that to. Speaking of hot glue, let me, let me plug it in because nothing is worse than cold hot glue. Is that a thing? Okay. Plugged in. So let's start. Now I went ahead and I already painted my sticks. So you don't need to paint the back. But I painted the front and I originally used, it's actually a paint called Flag Red from Apple Barrel, but it was too bright and it didn't look have that worn look that I like. So instead I used from Americana, it is called, ooh, glasses, Dark Scarlet. Let me see if I can show that to you. I know it's backwards. Is it? Yeah, it's kind of blurry. Dark Scarlet, anyways. And then of course my white Apple Barrel Gloss. Now to tone down the gloss, I sand every, sanded everything. If you can see, like I sanded around the edges, kind of made it a little worn. I did both sides like that. And I did the white also. Some of the red dust from sanding them got onto the white. What I used was a 180 grit sanding sponge. I like these because I can hold the sides. I don't know why, but I have this thing about touching sandpaper. I don't like it. It's a, it's a, it's a texture thing. All right, so I guess one of the, the things that was most difficult for me was um, figuring out, see if I can get my flag again, figuring out, see the, the handle? If I wanted it on this side, or if I wanted it on this side. And that's really your preference. See that little divot in there? Kind of the, the handle. I think if you put it on this side, it would look cool because it would kind of look like the flag is waving. But for for my per or for my preference, I liked it over here. So you know what? For this one, I'm gonna do it on the other side just to see if it's any cooler. First of all, you want to lay all your sticks out like you're gonna. Like you're going to glue them, but you're going to lay them out upside down. So this one, you I did five red and four white. So you want a red on the top and the bottom. So let's do that. I don't know how much you can see. I'm going to line them up pretty good. You know what? You can even, yeah, you can even alternate where the handles are. Is, are. But um, I don't know if I would like that look. All right, here we go. And if you're commenting, I am sorry, but I am having, and I'm not the only one from what I hear, issues with Facebook not letting us see our comments. So um, right now I see nothing. <laughs> and if you didn't get a chance to watch it live, watch it on the replay. Heck, you can watch it any time you want. All right, so I'm going to open this package. I left this one closed so you could all see. This is the one from Home Depot that I got. I take my little X-Acto knife, kind of go in there, cut my, my plastic off, maybe. Come on. Hmm. Okay, well, I only need two, so I'm going to take two out. Okay, 10, 10 for a dollar. I mean, that's you can't get better than that. Now, what I did is I glued them with the handle sticking out because that part's going to get cut off. And I basically lined them up. And if, if they're not even on the edges, take, the, take your two extra and line them up. Okay, I got a little bit of paint peeling. Okay, so I'm going to put this one here and this one here. I'm not going to cover those holes where the handles are because I kind of want them to show. But you know you could, so you didn't have to um, worry about what section they're on. Uh, maybe here. Let's see, if you want to get real technical, you can... I have a ruler somewhere. You can, it's clear, so you can't find it. 
You can take a ruler and actually get as close as you want. Ah, that's pretty darn close. All right. So let's, and don't glue all the way to the end because remember you're gonna cut that off. All right, whoa. All right, now my glue gun is a high and a low setting on it. And I didn't find out until just recently, and it is a, it's a lesson that if you have a glue gun with a high-low setting on it, like mine is here, you need glue, glue sticks that are also high-low. And that's what I got. These are Sure Bonder. I think they got them at, ugh, at Joy and Fabrics. But they're amazing. You can pretty much use this for anything. You can use it for glass. You can use it for wood, plastic, everything. Okay, so I'm going to glue that on and let that set a while and then um, I'll cut those ends off. But you kind of want your glue to set so it looks, so it stays. And this glue does not take long to set. While I'm watching glue dry, let's talk about the blue jean background. I went to... Um, Goodwill. Jeez, I couldn't think of the word. I went to Goodwill and I found some jeans and I got some big jeans. But the reason I got them so big is because I wanted the pockets. I've seen where they take the pockets and they make little um, like crossover purses. And I want to try my hand at that, but I haven't quite done that with these yet. But what I did do for my last swag is I, I cut a piece off in the leg. Now, let, let's talk a little bit about blue jeans that you can cut up. I cut the um, hem off and I'm actually going to use that. See, that's, that's, a, that's a good solid piece. I'm going to use that along with um, the other hem so it'll be twice as long and I am going to make that hopefully uh, a purse. It probably won't be long enough for a crossbody but it'll be great purse handles and very durable. You can use the pockets as things. You can use the belt loops as things. I have seen um, a lot of different things that you can make with blue jeans on Pinterest. So if that's something you want to try, by all means, just go to Pinterest. All right, so what I did for, for this one, and you kind it's kind of your preference. I, I figured out how big I wanted it. I mean, I didn't want it so big that it didn't look in proportion. And I think this one, where's my numbers? Other way, yes. This one is six inches. So it's probably six by six, yeah, six by six. But the finish will not be six by six because what I did is I frayed the edges. I don't know if you can see that. I kind of like the frayed look. And I did it all the way around, but blue jeans, if you remember back in the day when you, well, even now, when you wear them all holy, there's the white strings in there. And that is the, the cross, I think cross threads. No, that is the up and down threads are all, no, cross threads. If the cross threads are all white and the up and down are all blue. So when you fray it, you're going to get a blue edge and a white edge. And I didn't really care for the white edge too much, so I trimmed that a little. But if you want it all, especially with the lighter color jean, that would look cool all the way around. Where can I put this out of the way? So I'm going to cut whew, is that slightly over. It's pretty well set by now. See? Pretty good. I'm going to leave that, push that out of the way, and make my 6x6. Six six. These pant legs were so huge. All right, make my, I'm gonna cut the side seam off. And I'm going to put on my cheaters. All right. Let's see. All right, I'm just gonna cut right up the side seam. 
this other side is where I took the the up from the other flag but I just cut right along that edge and cut that side seam off so now I have this piece you know I didn't think about it but you could actually use the inside too if you wanted it a lighter color genius I love it okay so this is probably not not real even this one's this is more even so I'm going to measure from that so if I find my numbers again all right and right here is my six inches you know I'm trying to show you everything at once so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my fabric scissors not my paper cutting scissors and I'm going to make a little notch in there that's six inches so then this way here is my six inch so I'm just gonna and it's gonna be haphazard but you don't want it to be like perfect because then it doesn't look like I'm kind of want this to look like an old worn out flag I think there's nothing more beautiful than the American flag and especially when it's been worn because you know that it's been out there waving itself and showing our country proud all right so this is oh my goodness that is not straight by any means so we're going to i'm going to kind of fold it and see where it's off to the side here i'm going to cut that off try to even it up a little bit and that's another reason why it's the finish isn't going to be six by six. All right. Now, once you start fraying the edges, you're going to see, let me get a little closer, you're going to see the straight edge. So I'm going to just start pulling these. I don't know if you can see that okay. Can you? Yeah. Pull these until I get more of a straight line. Oh, yeah. And they're coming off pretty good. And see how it's white because the side horizontal threads are white because when you wear your jeans and then they have those white threads going through so yeah that's horizontal I did go to school <laughs> just a long time ago All right. okay so I'm finally getting to where it's a straight edge I got a lot more white down here than I have up here but that's that's showing me let me pull the rest of these out so I can kind of trim that so it's a straighter yeah I guess I will all right now I'm going to go and do this side now I don't have any more of the gold star buttons so I'm going to um, use some really pretty white Pearl buttons this this flag's gonna have a whole different look to it in the beginning I of, of my crafting career <laughs> career like you make money from it but um, I was I've always been a little OCD and rigid and oh that can't it's not painted right I don't like the the shabby look and all this but then I kind of embraced it and saw saw the beauty in it because I ha always had to have everything perfect and then it didn't look as personable next to somebody else's that that wasn't perfect and I kind of like like my friend Helen the, the things that she made those ribbons coming down some of them are just fabric should that she you know cut into strips and none of it's the same size or anything like that and I think that's what makes it so beautiful but cutting the roasting pan from Dollar Tree that is genius I'm definitely stealing that okay I was gonna allow my dog in here today but for some reason he is Barky McBarkerson today he just would not shut up so he had to go him and daddy went bye-bye Okay, so that's that's kind of cool. I don't know how much how much you can see. The, ah, good shot there. That's kind of cool. So let's go and do this side. 
get all four sides done. It's kind of hard to get it started. You just kind of have to pull a little bit along the edge until you get some going. So these buttons that I'm using today are from my friend Helen. I don't know if I said that already. But um, there are some that she cut off of some shirts. And some of them actually look like mother of pearl. They're just they're gorgeous. I have them right here. But we'll, we'll look through those in a minute. I think she even was able to find a whole pint size, pint, quart size maybe, mason jar of buttons that somebody was selling at either a flea market or maybe she got those from Goodwill. I don't know, but she goes to Goodwill a lot and I can go to Goodwill every day and not find the amazing things that she finds. So I'm glad she's my friend, let me tell you. Okay, almost. There we go. So 4th of July, I guess they're having fireworks and everything again, so that's kind of cool. Not, not quite sure what we're going to do. Don't really have anything planned now, but I'm sure we will come time. All right. Oh, this one's going pretty good. I don't know. I just love the blue. But you know, I kind of like doing it on that side. We'll see. I'll make up my mind at the very end, I'm sure. All right, a couple more threads and we should be good. Come on, get them from this side. I made, I think it was for Easter, I took some fabric, cute little spring prints, and I did this to all the edges. And you can sit down in front of the television or whatever it is you like to, to do in the evenings. I like to sit outside and just sit here and pull threads. And it was kind of neat because some of the threads that I pulled, I actually saw in my trees this past couple of weeks um, that the birds had taken and made nests out of. So I guess they're recycled, recycled people, people. They like to recycle also. Wow. Words today are just not easy for me. All right. But I'm excited to do 4th of July things again. I like to go to Party City or any place like that that has the big cans of glow in the dark necklaces and then go to like um, a community thing that's having fireworks and pass them out to all the kids. It's so fun and Parents don't mind because it's not a food thing or anything anybody can be allergic to. And it's just a neat thing you can do for kids in the, around you. Speaking of that, I, oh, that's funny. As long as I can remember, I have always carried Matchbox cars in my purse. Probably because of my son when he was little. But I've always had them. And when I see them at Goodwill or any place like that, I pick them up and I put them in my purse and when we go to a restaurant or any place like that and somebody is having a hard time sitting still because oops, it's hard to sit still when you're three or four or whatever I can pull out one of my cars and hand it to one to the parents and they can give it to their child and a lot of times they're like oh thank you so it's great on airplanes too <laughs> All right, so I have all the way around. You know what, I think I'm still, I don't know now. This or, hmm. let me throw some buttons on there. I don't know if I can hold that up. I like it like this. Oh, can you see the buttons? Hmm. I'm going to do the back side. Let's go for it. Oh my gosh, it's going to be amazing. Okay, so I'm going to hot glue that on. Let's see, does it, does it kind of look? 
even. There we go. So it looked blurry. The whole thing. Uh, no, I'm not sure. I'm gonna try the back side just, just to be different. Okay, let me get my this out of here. And you know what? I'm gonna start on one edge because if I glue the whole thing and then it doesn't lay right, I'm not gonna be happy. I almost did it backwards. I'm not gonna be happy. All right, so I'm gonna do a corner and lay it down. Hot. Ooh, even through the fabric, that's hot. Do a little stretch on this side. Get some hot glue. And lay it down. All right, so I'm gonna have a little, it's gonna lift up there. So I'm gonna put some in the middle. All right. Already that's starting to look good. Oh, I hate those glue strings, don't you? There's gotta be something you can make with glue strings. I can find something to make with everything. My husband's probably rolling his eyes by now going, oh God, what is she gonna make with that? I am pretty good at keeping it not piled up all over the house. So I think he's okay with it. Get that straight across now. Because I got it stretched. I want to stretch it so it lays a little flat. Am I going to do this side yet? Okay. Perfect. Well, maybe not. Not quite perfect. There we go. Now it's perfect. <laughs> Look at this corner. It kind of went rogue. I like it. Come on. Strings everywhere. I guess I should wait till the end to pull all the strings because there's going to be a lot more. So this is what we have so far. What do you think? Kind of like it. But I do want to cut these ends off. So let's do that quick. I am using my little X-Acto knife. So glasses. So I'm just going to kind of go, I don't know if you can see this, go along the edge. Let's move this out of the way. Go along the edge and draw a line. Be so careful not to cut yourself. I have done that so many times. Scam okay. life is calling. There it goes. <laughs> Scam likely is my new best friend, I guess. Because they call me every day. Few, few times. And it's funny because they leave voice messages. And on the voice message, they're telling me to leave a voicemail. Voice message. And I'm like, you called me. Well, whatever. So, oh, yep. See, I just got a voicemail. I'm sure it's, it's, they must have missed me today. Don't you love it when they always call at dinner time? My husband and I like to take our phones and not bring them to the dinner table. That is our time to talk to each other, find out how each other's day went, or something that um, we want to discuss. Ah, come on. All right, now if you score it on both sides, you don't have to go all the way through, but kind of get the edges as good as you can. All right, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of wiggle them and break them off on the edge of the table. Let's see. A little at a time. I'm going to rock it back and forth, and it comes right off. Let's do this one. Okay. Well, you're not going to be so good, huh? Well, I will make you talk. All right. Let's try that. Hmm. Maybe it's the back side I didn't do so good. See, not every project goes perfect. You're going to have stuff along the way. But let me tell you, I really am not a patient person. I'm not patient. Just ask my, my husband. I have 
terrible time being patient with everything because my mind is always going a bazillion miles an hour and it's it's very difficult for me to be patient there we go he did not want to come off so this is this is my edges and they are a little sharp so i am going to take my sandpaper and sand those down a little bit just to kind of smooth it down Luckily, um, paint sticks are made out of probably pine. It does not say, but it's it's really soft. I mean, you can like dig your fingernail in there, and it'll it'll leave a dent. So, working with them, it's fairly easy because of that. Especially if you want to cut them down. Okay. Yeah, it's nice and smooth now. I don't know if you can see that. So that's the back side, and one, I guess I decided to paint both sides. You don't have to. But look, it kind of looks like it's waving a little bit. I like that. So let's do the buttons on the front. And again, you can't put 50 on there because it would not look right. I tried the 13 stripes, and it was really narrow and really long, and it, it didn't look well. So I kind of made it as proportioned as I can. So you're going to do the same thing for your stars. Because if you put 50 on there, it's just going to be a, a mess. Too many. So on my on this one, I put nine. And it was basically because all that's all I had was nine stars. But I kind of like the way it sparkles, the way it looks. All right. And you can put a rope handle on yours. But I'm looking at my table and realize I didn't bring the rope out. So we won't be putting that on this one. Maybe this will be a leaner. You can lean it like like those there. You can lean them against things. And that still looks good. All right. So let's see. I've got big ones and small ones. I like these ones that look like pearl. Let me see how many of those I can find. Well, there's a bunch. And they're little enough. And again, I have to fight with myself not to be so symmetrical like I was with the last flag because it's supposed to look a little homemade and made out of stuff that you have. So let's, I'm just picking out all the, the itty bitties because I like those. And let's do a couple more. This one. All right. So I'm just going to, let's, let's arrange them in a certain way. Not quite sure how yet. I'll move my scissors out of the way. Don't need those anymore. So you can see this. So if I put some like that, and here, and here, and here. Oh, maybe I can put more on. I just don't want them to look too symmetrical although they're uh, that's kind of what it's looking to all right i need to not try to do that so much okay so kind of show you what do you think they're all different sizes so let's let's get to gluing Let me move this around so you can see it okay The struggle is real. Hmm. All right, there's that one. When my daddy passed away, it was in the 60s. So um, he was a soldier, and on his, <laughs> will you stop? On his, um, at his funeral, my mom was presented with the flag. It only had 48 stars, which I think is so super cool. Unfortunately, I, I did not get custody of the flag. I wish I would have. In fact, when my mom passed away, I'm not sure where the flag went. But it was so super cool. I would like to have displayed that. I have seen 
um, flags like this made out of wood. Very, very large scale, and I think it's stunning. I mean, they have the 50 stars and the 13 stripes, and but it is made out of, I think, one by twos, one by two pine, which normally buying stuff like that is pretty reasonable, but for some reason lately, I, I think it's because of the truck driver shortage, but we, the wood has gone skyrocketing price-wise out of control. So if I make something like that, it's not gonna be anytime soon. All right, let's see, I only got a couple more to do. Four, seven, eight, eight. 18, I have 18 buttons on here. Stop, S glue strings, what do you think? I love it. It might still be too symmetrical. I don't know. But I really like that. I like I like the shabbiness of it. Now I'm going to add one more thing. If I can find it. Here it is. This is another thing made by my friend Helen. She's amazing. She sells her stuff at um, a booth mall in Georgia and... One of these days, I'm gonna I'm gonna drive there. I'm gonna get there because I want to see all the stuff. It's a little bow, just made out of all those scraps, and I think it's gonna look really sweet on here. Now, once I get my hanger on there, and I'm and I'm gonna glue my hanger from from here and here, just a piece of wood, a piece of wood, a piece of rope, and th that will come over here. But then I think I'm going to. There, there, nope, I like it in the corner, what do you think? Let's do it. If I think too much, I'll overthink and then I'll, it won't be any good. All right, no going back now, there it is. I'm gonna unglue this, unglue, Un unplug. Jeez, see what I'm telling you about the words today? I am a hot mess. I am just a hot mess. I've only had two cups of coffee. It has been, we um, were up really late last night. Friday nights is our Bible study. And I absolutely love my group of people in my Bible study, but we can talk. We can talk till midnight, we can talk. So the next day I'm always like, eh, I need a cup of coffee. Here it is. This is the one that I did prior and I like it it looks more masculine I think because it's not all the ribbons but then there's this one this is awesome it turned out amazing so let me know what you think I'd really love to see the comments and I'll probably have to see them once I finish my video but um, I would love it if you sprinkled this video all over Facebook because I think a lot of people would like to make this and that it's fun and I would like to be the one to show it to him. So thank you so much for watching today. And if you didn't get to see it live, thank you for watching the replay. I really appreciate you people and have a great Memorial Day. Thank you so much. Talk to you later. Bye.